The following is a presentation on respiratory specimen collection for your education and assistance and has been provided by the New South Wales Department of Health. The aim of the video is to demonstrate the correct way to collect respiratory swabs. We will cover four main issues. One, to collect good quality specimens. Two, to ensure the healthcare worker is safe by constantly being aware of infection control. Thirdly, adequate and correct documentation. And finally, to ensure the patient is comfortable during the procedure. It is important to understand that the methods explained in the presentation do not just apply to influenza, but can be used in the collection of nose and throat swabs for other respiratory viruses. Before collecting any specimens, it's important to know something about the virus you are dealing with. For example, its virulence. That is how much harm it can do. This can change from year to year. You'll also need to be aware of how infectious the virus is. You must refer back to your state's public health guidelines and updates for information on virus outbreaks and infection control. Now you can proceed to collecting the swabs. Ensure that you have all the necessary equipment prior to taking the swab. This will include alcohol-based hand rub if soap and water is not available, appropriate mask, disposable gloves and gowns, eye protection, a waste bag for contaminated items, pen, request form, viral swabs, a specimen bag and a box of tissues. Always check that you are using the correct type of swab, that is a viral transport swab. Please note there are a variety of suitable swabs for taking viral specimens. We are demonstrating the use of two of the most common types. The first one is a green capped viral transport tube that looks like this. The next type is a universal transport media, UTM tube, which uses a flocked swab and it looks like this.